What's up, guys? Yo. Uh, greetings from Freiburg, Germany. This is my... Oh, I should turn that off. <laughs> this is my roommate for the summer, Maddie. Hey, so yeah, I'm a sophomore, rising sophomore at Stanford. Majoring home bio, pre-med track, uh, varsity women's crew team. Yeah, and Stanford's awesome, so this will be good. Yeah, and this is good. Tell you all about it. it. Yeah, multiple perspectives, yeah, exactly. multiple points of view. On the blog Ask FM, I got a lot more questions since we last posted the first ever video Q&A. Um, so I think that that was pretty popular, so we're going to do another one. Let's That's get started. Right. How would you describe the dating culture at Stanford? Wow. <laughs> From what I understand, it gets more datey as you get, as you older. get older. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But, but in the beginning, especially freshman year, I think people are really just trying to meet each other, get to know each other. Have like a really chill yeah. time. Yeah. I wouldn't say there's a lot of traditional dating. Yeah. I... PSA, I encourage all boys to ask girls out because oh, yeah. I, in any day, would much rather have a guy ask me out to coffee. Like, it doesn't even have to be dinner, just coffee. Yeah. Anything. Be Confidence. Like, hey. Confidence is sexy. RT. <laughs> okay, let's define yeah. dating because I think what's yes. more common is you meet somebody, you're into them, you're like, hey, let's hang out sometime, and then you go to, like, Tresseter on campus yeah. or somewhere and get coffee and you hang out, as opposed to... I saw this girl in my chem class, and I think she's really pretty, so I'm going to walk up to her and ask her out on a date. date. That doesn't that, happen as much. Right, no, that does not. But if you're into someone and you want to date them and make them your boyfriend, just like girlfriend, more so casual. hang out with them, yeah. yeah, more casually. It's more casual in the beginning. That, yeah. That's common. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. All the oh, yeah. Often. That's super normal. Yeah. How do you plan to stay close with all your frosh dorm friends who may no longer live across the hall from you? I think it's just about making an effort. Going out of your way to reach out to those people and send them a text and be like, hey, we even talked in a month. Do you want to grab coffee sometime? I'm yeah, or even like brunch. Time. Yeah. On the weekends. Like, yes. that's what we're doing. We're going to be grabbing brunch like all oh, the time. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, do it. Wait, that's a good idea. Yeah. I'm stealing that. At least for us, we talked about we, um, I'm sure as many dorms have like Facebook groups. So like we've mm -hmm. already said that we're just going to keep in touch through that. I don't know. Like my dorm again was like super, super close. Really awesome community. Yeah. yeah so it's so, not just Larkin. So for those of you yeah. who are wondering why is Larkin the best dorm, it's all the dorms. Yeah. Trancos. Trancos <laughs> is the freaking best. Hey. Like in love. <laughs> What's your IQ? I have no idea. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, great question. What do you love slash what makes you happy? Wow, this is a deep what do I question. Love? What do I love? I love cats and combat. <laughs> I love helping people. So that's why I want to be pre-med. Like, you know, help save lives. I love pancakes, my siblings, I love my parents, I love my friends, I love Stanford, I love my dear readers. Hey. I think being happy is an attitude. It's more like a, uh, like a lifestyle. I like that. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Happiness is mentality. That's, I'm just gonna roll with that. That's my cop out. I don't have an answer. <laughs> what was your second choice college? Up until I got my Stanford acceptance, I was actually pretty sure that I was gonna be going to USC. Um, I actually already like, visited the campus with my dad. We flew out there. I bought like $300 oh worth God. of stuff from the student store. I was really, really excited. Um, and then I got into Stanford and, and was like, like USC is still a great school. My dad's an alum. I, if I didn't go to Stanford, I probably would have ended up there. Probably would have ended up at Notre Dame, I think. I was getting um, a really huge-ass crew scholarship. But then, like, when you just go to Stanford, it's, like, really hard to, like, go anywhere else. What are some good books? Yes! Here, well, mine's packed somewhere. Okay. Oh, it's okay. I'm reading Whisper Hollow right now. It's a historical fiction. Uh, I think it's really interesting and good but my next book which i'm going to read but i can't really say whether it's good or not because i haven't started it is a james patterson book. oh james I've, patterson i've never read james love patterson it. before i even i just know that he's good all right so i'm really into like hunger games like dystopian like societies and like trying love triangles yeah <laughs> typical so, ya yes reader. yes yes that is me i will forever be a ya reader also what i will be reading after the series is the kite runner by, you the kite I have not read it okay. yet, it's but it's amazing. I've been told. Have you ever read Pride and Prejudice? <gasps> I read Pride and Prejudice over winter break and read that whole thing in like oh, three days. Two. What is your favorite subject? I obviously love like biology. Like I'm obsessed with the human body. The human body is just freaking amazing. Yeah, she's obsessed I'm obsessed with, with the human, human body. body. And math. I love math I'm because such a nerd. there's one aunt you need to get and okay. I'm after the hooking. I, I, see, I wouldn't call myself a fuzzy. But like I, I, I mean, maybe tuzzy. I'm not a, I'm like a tuzzy. A 
I understand your argument about math, but my favorite thing about reading and writing is oh. there's so much room for interpretation. Yeah, and you can and just writing. go over writing over and over and over. And, like, it's, like, it's like, like shaping a diamond, you know? Like, with every cut and every revision that you do, it just gets better and better. Oh, that was, that was really good. Uh, I called it metaphor. That's what I think. That was good. Good job, like that. that was very good. <laughs> favorite color? Purple. Yellow, maybe? Yellow is cool. Oh, yellow. How should I organize my school binder? I didn't really use binders that much, to be honest, though. You don't use them in college. You really don't. Okay, here's the mistake I made. Before I went to college, I went to Target and bought a bunch oh, of everything. notebooks and oh, pencils and stuff. Yeah. But the second you show up at the bookstore, you're going to want a notebook that says your school on it and a pen with your school's name on it Yeah, and stuff. so wait till you get to the bookstore. Wait till you get to the bookstore. Get all Did you get into Stanford with any scholarships? And are scholarships hard to get in general for Stanford and any of the other colleges you applied for? I, I'm not on scholarship. Yeah. Right? Well, mine um, was, like, sports-related scholarships, and, like, I don't really know that much about academic scholarships. Yeah, mm -hmm. I applied for some um, local academic scholarships, like, just ones given away at my high school. That's what you have to do. I didn't get any of them. <clears throat> uh, if you guys have more questions about that or would like to hear from somebody who is on an academic scholarship and wants to talk about that, let me know, uh, because I've got lots of friends who yeah, are on scholarships, and, and they've got great advice, so. Tell a story about guys <laughs> wiki face. Actually, there are a lot of funny stories. But I can't keep telling them, otherwise no guy is going to want to hang yeah, out with me. Yeah, everyone's going to be like, whoa. From where? From school? From, from, from Germany? Germany? <laughs> you want to go first? I think you have a really great story. I'm not sure. telling the Ger Germany? Yeah, we're not telling Germany oh, stories. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no Germany stories. Okay, so early on in fall quarter, um, I was at, we were having like a party in one of the dorms, but I saw this guy standing in the doorway who I didn't recognize and he was just kind of standing there by himself and wasn't really talking to anybody, but he had a drink in his hand and he looked pretty chill and was very good looking. So Ooh. I was like, well, hey. nobody's going to talk to him. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. So I walked up to him and I was like, Hey, like, who are you here with? Where are you from? Blah, blah, blah. And then just ended up talking until like 2 a.m. And I ended up dating this guy for, this is a like, I think like a month or, or two or something like that. But how we met was interesting because the reason he was in Larkin, he was there on a Tinder date <laughs> with somebody else Tinder. in my dorm. And I didn't know. So while she was gone, <laughs> she I actually swooped Swoop. in. Swoop. I felt so bad. I, I, oh, Especially you, when we started you? dating. Those are the safe stories. Those, yeah. are, good, good, good those, those are safe. Those, those are, are safe. PG-13. Yes. Okay. How much better is college than high school? <laughs> Literally. You can't compare them. <laughs> like, you can't even say them in the same f***ing <laughs> sense. Do you grow apart from your high school friends? Yep. Yeah, we text a couple times. We talk, but, like, we're not really close, and I'm kind of okay with that. I mean, like, I made a lot of really awesome friends at Stanford who were really tight, and, like, it's meeting all these really incredible people and, you know, forming new relationships and being with them. But honestly, like, I know people who are really close with their friends in high oh, school. Yeah, so totally. it's really just all about, like, do you want to be close with them? You can be close with I them. I think if you really want to keep in touch and if that doesn't feel unnatural, then something like that should be fine and just do that and you'll be good. But when you do grow apart from people, um, I think that that's very natural. I think that that's okay. And it's... Probably even healthy. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. yeah I'd say it's a good thing. I'd say it's a very good thing. What's Camp Stanford? Oh, dude, it's an unofficial term. Camp Stanford is when you don't have classes and you just spend the whole day outside under the sun, going swimming, throwing a frisbee, playing basketball, playing beach volleyball. It's usually like at the end of the year when like you're finishing up finals and you're done, but you're still at school before you move out. And like mm -hmm. literally you just are at Stanford having a blast, just not doing school and it's awesome. And it feels like camp. So that's yeah. why you call it Camp Stanford. Yeah. Does Connor actually play lax? Yeah. <laughs> How did you get involved in studying abroad? Yeah. So Maddie and I are here in Germany studying in Freiburg. Um, we're not doing a semester abroad, which is, um, I think, very common that a lot of people do at Stanford, but we're doing what's called an overseas seminar. So it's about, th it is three weeks. It's over the summer. Pay attention to your email, read your emails, look at flyers and stuff. You cannot expect to get involved and get the most out of your college experience if you're not listening like for me what happened was like I didn't even know if I was gonna be able to do the studying abroad but then I got an email and they're just like hey we're looking more applications for this and I was like oh that's sick let me apply yeah so apply to everything you yeah can literally always, you can always, always say no like just literally apply for everything apply for everything yeah how's the transportation at Stanford bikes do people get more chill in college so much I am an example, so <laughs> I am an example. I am, dude I was freaking 
freaking uptight. Really? I was so uptight. I literally, OCD, uptight, like, yeah. Yeah. Just in college, like, people don't care. Yeah, no one, no one judges anyone. Like, you believe in something, then that's great. People respect what you believe in, and it's awesome. In high school, like, I really did not drink that much. This wasn't my thing. But then when I came to college, like, still didn't drink that much, and then drank sometimes, occasionally, like, you know, like, it just, it's like, and no one was like, oh my god, like, pick side. Like, yeah. it was, it's just like, none of that. If you don't want to drink, we're like, dude, that's sick. Want to drink? Hey, have a fun time. Uh, and that's it. Awesome. Okay, guys, thank you so much. I uh, appreciated all the questions. Again, happy to do some more in the future. Keep sending them in. Ask.fm slash Caffeine College. And thank you to Maddie for joining us. Yeah, dude, this is awesome. Yeah, hope y'all She's cool. You guys are cool. This is cool. See you around. Yeah. Roast.